Hi, I'm Carolyn Beam with Quilt Maker Magazine. In our July-August 2015 issue, we have a quilt designed by Kate Colloran called Contours. The quilt is made using six different fabrics. We have three black prints, a gray print, white metallic, and a yellow tone-on-tone. -tone. And the quilt is sewn using foundations. So here's the foundation that we use to make this block. And actually two of these foundations, when they're put together, will be sewn together to make the block. What I like to do when I'm foundation piecing is cut pieces that fit each of these different shapes. Um, it makes for more efficient cutting and for piecing. So for this black number one piece, you can take a four inch square, cut it in half, and it makes the right size that you need with a little bit of overlap, so you have a little bit larger than you need. For this gray piece, if you start with a five and a half inch square, that's enough to cover the space you need to fill. For number three, a piece that's four and three quarters by six and a half, a rectangle will be just what you need. For number four, which you can see right here, um, if you cut a five and a half inch square just like this one. Number five, again, is another four inch square cut in half to make triangles. And number six is a four and three quarters by six and three quarters inch rectangle. So right here we've got one, two, and three sewn on already. And I'm just going to show you how I use the add a quarter ruler to trim before I sew the next patch on. So I'll flip it over to the back, fold on the line between three and four, then line the lip of the add a quarter right with the fold, and then I can take my rotary cutter and trim the excess fabric off. Now when you flip it over, what that has done is created the quarter inch seam allowance. So at this point, I'm ready to add my next patch, which would be patch number five. You would add it on just like this, flip it over, sew on the line, and then repeat this, fit this process to finish the section. When you're completely done with the section, then you'll go ahead and trim on this outside line. Here is a completed section one and section two. And to make the block, you'll join both of these sections together so your finished block will look like this. So here are four finished blocks. And put together like this, this is what they'd look like in the center of the quilt. Now if you look at the top left corner, just by rearranging these blocks slightly, this is what the top left corner looks like. So you can see two different fun arrangements so far with these four blocks. The fun thing about this block, as you just saw in the other examples, is that there are multiple ways that you can arrange these blocks to create lots of fun and different designs. Here are six different designs that we've created. You can see that in some, the yellow points come together to form stars. There's um, a design like a barn raising, where the design radiates out from the center. You've got diagonal bands of color that stretch across the design. You know, the fun thing for you would be to use your design wall or the floor and play with different arrangements of your own to see what possibilities you can come up with. You can follow the link below to download the free PDF showing these six different designs. You can find contours in the July-August 2015 issue of Quiltmaker. Go to quiltandsewshop.com to purchase a kit for this quilt using these fabrics. You can also purchase the backing fabric and a digital pattern for contours. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up below, share it on social media, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me today.